This presentation is brought to you by Arizona State University's Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability and a generous investment by Julianne Wrigley. And we're affected by a changing climate. We care about it because it exacerbates the risks that we already face today. We humans, we people in the places where we live, as well as every other living thing on this planet. But it isn't just about us, because when you look at where people currently live in poverty, and the darker the color here, the greater the percentage of the population living in poverty in those areas, and then you compare this with where people are most vulnerable to the impacts of a changing climate, you can see that it isn't just about us. It's about everybody, and it's especially about those who have the least to begin with, both right here at home as well as on the other side of the world. When it floods here, we have devastation. We have damage, we have loss. When it floods in Southeast Asia, the casualties are orders of magnitude higher. When we have droughts in Texas versus in Syria, in Texas we have billions of dollars of losses and some people have to abandon their farms and their ranches and that is a tragedy. But it isn't the final straw on the camel's back that tips an already overloaded situation into a refugee crisis. Oops, there we go. So you might see me in these pictures. This is me. Um, when I was nine years old, we moved down to Colombia in South America. And growing up down there made me realize just how close we do live to harm. So down there, if you're living in a home made of mud or tied cardboard boxes that you got from the dump, and the only place you find to build a house is on the side of a hill, and the rains come. And when the rains come, there can be devastation. 20,000 people washed away. When these things happen, we realize that the closer we are to living on the edge, the most vulnerable we are to the impacts of a changing climate. Because while rain and floods and landslides are natural, in a warmer world, the air holds more water vapor. And so when storms come along today, there's a lot more water vapor for them to sweep up and dump on us today than there was just 50 or 100 years ago. So we are increasingly at risk. And we can see this right here, where we live. But we can also see it on the other side of the world. Let me give you a very concrete example. Does anybody remember Hurricane Matthew? Hmm, anybody? OK, thank you. Thank you, at least a few people. So here in this room, only a few of us remember Hurricane Matthew. It hit the Carolinas. There were deaths. There was devastation. But if I had asked the same question in Haiti, I think every single hand in the room would have gone up. Because before Matthew hit the Carolinas, it hit Haiti. And when it hit Haiti, it damaged 22% of the entire country's GDP in some areas, up to 90% of the crops and livestock were lost, and they already had cholera there. And how is cholera transmitted? Primarily through the water. And so the flooding led to a renewed outbreak of cholera that killed who knows how many tens of thousands of extra people who would not have died otherwise. We also know that climate change is increasing the gap between the rich and the poor. The United Nations said earlier today that they were afraid that as climate continues to change, it will eradicate 50 years of progress working on hunger and poverty. Why do we care about a changing climate? Because it's the hole in the bucket. If we care about people, if we care about poverty, if we care about hunger, if we care about lack of access to clean water, if we care about education, if we care about justice, climate change is the hole in the bucket. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and we will not be able to fix these problems if we leave it out of the picture. It's taking issues like hunger, issues like lack of access to clean water, issues like diseases nobody should be dying from in 2019, and it's making them worse. So why do we care about a changing climate? Not just because it exacerbates the risks we face, but because it affects all of us today, real people, no matter where we live, and it affects the poorest and most vulnerable most. This presentation is brought to you by Arizona State University's Julianne Wrigley Global Institute of Sustainability for educational and non-commercial use only.